is no mistake. He has struggled for four years to turn his spare time enthusiasm into a serious business. What he has tried to do is to capture the intriguing effect he'd noticed in that vibrating boiler pipe and use it to create a totally new water heater, one that works without any heat source. His company now produces what amounts to a well-engineered water hammer. It thumps and smashes the water fed into it and raises the temperature to boiling point or to steam in a matter of seconds to replace household or industrial boilers. Now they happen to call these machines pumps. What we have is a hydrosonic pump that has a rotor located inside. It's a cylinder that has holes bored in it at specific angles and depths, ranging from a few hundred holes up to a few thousand, depending on whether we're going to make hot water or steam. The key to the machine seems to be the number and the design of the holes in the rotor. Briggs has experimented with many different combinations to get the best results. The rotor fits tightly into a steel chamber with only a very small gap between the two. Water is fed into the gap and the rotor is spun rapidly by a small electric motor. As it spins, the water is pummeled and hammered through the holes. In seconds it flows out of the cylinder as hot water or steam. What's so extraordinary about such an ordinary looking machine is the claim that it is more than 100% efficient. More energy has been measured coming out in the form of heat or steam than the electrical energy needed to turn the rotor. The term for this is over-unity. Scientifically, this is supposed to be impossible because it overturns the fundamental law of conservation of energy. It says you cannot get something for nothing. And yet, external observers claim to have measured here up to 70% more energy out than in.